question number 4 asks us to find which is greater. So we've got two bits in this question. Before we get on to finding out which is greater and which is smaller, we'll first have to simplify them and then see if the fractions are like fractions or unlike fractions. Because if they are unlike fractions, our objective would be to convert them into like fractions so that we directly compare the numerators and find out which is greater and which is smaller. So to start with, we have 2 over 7 of 3 over 4. We replace off with a multiplication sign. Now 2 1s are 2, 2 2 2s are 4. Now 3 times 1 is 3 and 7 times 2 is 14. Coming to the other part of it, we have 3 over 5 of 5 over 8, replacing off with a multiplication sign. We can cancel out 5 and 5 and we get the product as 3 over 8. So now what we have to do is we have to make the denominator same so that the fractions become like fractions. So what we'll try to do is we'll multiply 4 to the numerator and denominator of the first fraction. So we get the denominator as 56. So 12 over 56 is the fraction that we get. It's an equivalent fraction. Now we'll try to make the denominator of 3 over 8 as 56. So to do that, we'll multiply 7 to the numerator and 7 to the denominator. So we get the fraction, the equivalent fraction of it as 21 over 56. So the denominators are same. If we see that the numerators are 12 and 21, as we know that 21 is greater than 12, we can say that 21 over 56 is greater than 12 over 56. So we can clearly say that 3 fifth of 5 over 8 was greater than the other one. Similarly, doing the second bit of the same question. We have to simplify these first. 1 over 2 of replaced with a multiplication time symbol times 6 over 7. Now we can cancel out 2 and 6. 2 1s are 2. 2 3s are 6. We get the product as 3 over 7. Now 2 over 3 times 3 over 7. We can cancel out 3 and 3. We get 2 over 7. Now we see that the denominators are already same so they are like fractions so we can easily compare the numerators as 3 over 7 is greater than 2 over 7 because 3 is greater than 2. We can clearly say that 1 over 2 of 6 over 7 that is half of 6 over 7 is greater than 2 third of 3 over 7 and this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.